11. I'm Kira. I'm Olivia. And I'm Jaden. We would like to tell you about our Girl Scout Bronze Award Project. The Girl Scout Bronze Award Project is an optional award you can do to make a difference. If you want to get the Bronze Award, you can do three, you have to do three things. One, think of an idea. Two, do something about it. And three, make a difference. Our Bronze Award Project is about Hong Kong dog rescue. We wanted to help Hong Kong Dog Rescue because we all love animals, we all love dogs, and we feel bad for the dogs, and we want to make a difference in the dog's life. What is Hong Kong Dog Rescue? Hong Kong Dog Rescue was founded by Sally Anderson in 2003. It was created to save dogs from government canals. Canals are shelters for a dog. Dogs in the canals would be euthanized in 10 to 14 days. Dogs being euthanized means they're getting killed. It's really heartbreaking that when dogs get rescued, they get euthanized in one week or even two. Each year, Hong Kong Dog Rescue has been taking in 400 dogs. Guess how many dogs are living in Hong Kong Dog Rescue Shelter now? 600. Sadly, Hong Kong Dog Rescue is running out of space. Imagine you were living in a house with 599 people. How would that make you feel? If it was me, I would want someone to get me out of there immediately. No questions. Why do people give away their dogs? There are lots of reasons why someone would give up their dog to Hong Kong Dog Rescue. Their owner could be moving away and leaving their pets. Like our dog, Whiskey, his former owner moved to Australia and couldn't bring him, so we adopted him instead. Most of the dogs are from government kennels where they would be killed in 10 to 14 days if no one adopted them. I think it's a terrible practice that these dogs only have two weeks to live before they get killed. Some dog owners might not have done enough research on taking care of a dog. They might just buy the dog because, oh, it's so cute, it's fine, we'll take care of him. Except they didn't know that they would maybe have to walk it three times a day and help it use the bathroom. And then when they realized that having a dog is this much work, they abandoned it. Some dogs are from pet shops where the owners are only interested in money. They would maybe have a sick dog in their care and they would want to sell it away. So they would just tell everyone, oh, it's just sleeping. It's such a nice and quiet dog. It's so lazy. And then when the owners buy it, they don't realize that it's actually sick and the pet shop owner just made a profit. Hong Kong Dog Rescue. There are many ways you and your family can help Hong Kong Dog Rescue. Like you can donate money or because they desperately need it, or you can donate blankets and towels for them to use during the winter. Funds for the dog food or supplies is on their website. Donations over 100 Hong Kong dollars will be tax deductible. Fostering a dog. You'll be given a qualification form to see if you're capable of taking care of a dog. Like I mentioned earlier, if you just see a dog and you're like, oh, it's so cute, oh, I'll just take it, it can't be so much work, and then it ends up being a lot of work, they, they're going to test if you're capable of doing all of that work. Um, if you were to foster a puppy, you would do it for around a year. As for senior dogs, you would you would uh, foster them until they pass so that they can spend their golden years in a comfortable home with a warm bed. Or you can adopt a dog. If, if you were to adopt a dog, you, you would be given a qualification form similar to the one you would be given if, if you were fostering a dog. Please help Hong Kong Doggers. Thank you for listening. If you're interested in helping us, feel free to feel free to email this email here. We're more than happy to give you more information.